Hello, my name is Dark Berries. I hijacked this channel to talk about Rue Global New Mount Equipment Growth Guide and Tips. Mount Equipment Growth System will be available after May 30th Server Maintenance, which allows you to gain bonus stats for your main charm. This system is similar to Mount Drake's Growth, but without random. Players can eventually get bonus stats as long they buy upgrade mats weekly. Mount equipment upgrade mats can be purchased from Diamond Shop or Nyan Berry's Shop. A new item list has been added. Heart item is the main EXP item, which needed a lot to leveling the equipment. And the shield is for equipment level cap breakthrough, which is needed after LV reach 4, 9, 14, 19 and 29. And the last gold heart is needed when stats reach level 30, which allows you to unlock extra special stats bones. Explain later. First, unlock all equipment stats. You need to base level 100 to unlock all. Then, focus on upgrading one of the stats. Here I will upgrade the attack part. After it reach level 4, it requires you to use shield mats to increase it cap level from 4 to 9, which needs 5 pieces purple shield, or 4 white 2 purple. Of course, if you wanna save mats, gamble breakthrough with 60 to 90% success rate, is up to you. But the mats will be wasted if fail. After a successful breakthrough, you will unlock extra bonus stats. At level 29, you will gain 5 extra stats. Keep upgrading until you're short of mats. After you run out of mats, you can buy them with neon berries. Or, dismantle the gold heart mats that you brought with 3k diamond. Gold heart mats that you brought with 3k diamond, can be dismantled into shard, which allows you to buy heart or shield to continue leveling. Free to play feel free to dismantle the gold heart mats, as we didn't need it until the mount equipment part reached level 30, which is still a long way to go. Use the shard to purchase 5 purple shield and 75 white heart. From the point shop, new mount equip list. Now, break through it with 5 purple shield with 100%. This is all you can do for first week as free to play. Of course, pay to win can use neon berries to increase further more progress haha.